Congratulations. Hello, YouTube. Today we have Aaron, and he got first place split today. Got a trophy, first place trophy. You got some boxes and a PS5 that's already been discarded. <laughs> <laughs> and you played what? Uh, Cash Snake Eyes. Cash Snake Eyes. Yes. How'd you like your deck today? Uh, it was fantastic. Um, I saw Jesse's video last week. I played it at the regional. I went X1-1, got 12. Um, I've had a few friends over in Europe and locally playing it, and they've all said it feels really good. It's like more powerful than the Fire King stuff because like Fender performs really well into like Voices and some of the other decks, and then you're still playing obviously the best engine in the game, so can't complain. All right, let's see your main deck. Yeah, so normal, all of this, Jed, two Flamberge, and then three Witch, and then it's the cash cards. Last week I played only one Fender in the main. Um, I think it's fine. Uh, I literally bumped it to two just because of... Um, there were just like random situations where like you have Droplet, uh, which I'm maining, sorry. Um, and if you like f open Fender, um, I'm playing all the four, I'm playing four field spells in total. Uh, so get those. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> three race offs. So yeah, three race offs and terraforming. Um, so if you open, like I say, Droplet with a Fender, um, before you couldn't Fender or search Fender, and this card breaks like the average like normal summon Ash board. Uh, where you go, they go uh, Apo, Flamberge, IP, and Spell and Trap. Like, this card threatens all of it. So if they ever go, like, Summon IP, um, you Fender threaten the Apo if they ever link off. Um, so I wanted another Fender to, like, replace itself in that situation where, like, this situation comes up. And also just, like, a really good card going second in general. Uh, then obviously all of these, um, if you get drolled, obviously it sucks. Um, but the drolls kind of, like, falling out of favor. Yeah, I don't think drolls falling out of favor. And then you want the extra sense for Diabell Star uh, for original. Like, you just get all, so much more value by playing these cards in your deck. And then you get the versatility of going Unicorn or going first, or you Fender going second. And then uh, just normal consistency card. Normal Snake Eyes. Yeah, yeah. and then you play Birth uh, as the only like, card you search off of Unicorn. And then Unicorn also has, like, the nice rep from extra deck. And with everyone playing, like, one Princess and all that shit, it, like, performs very well. Um, I got one for one for Monster Reborn. Performed really well today. Um, it's just like another extender. Uh, I th because all my non engine is spells, um, I figured I would have like less cards to pitch off of it. So I th didn't think of one for one for as well. Uh, and then non engine, all breakers. Um, it all performed very well. Um, Eclipse was Chalice last weekend. Um, it was okay, but I wanted something to perform a little bit better against Voices Boys because it's like one of the only decks that the cash cards don't perform too well against. Um, just because of like the barrier. Um, but yeah, always a really good econ, just like plays into boards well. Drop like gives you a lot of coverage. Uh, Tactics is very good as always. And then I just wanted, I couldn't play Cross outside one of the cards that like were able to dodge like the hand traps, which is the best part about them. Uh, the extra deck is the same as everyone else's. Um, <laughs> There's one flex spot, and in this build it is Draco Sack because you can go Unicorn plus uh, Witch into combo, which is really nice. Um, so if you go like Unicorn, start, and then you get negated, or if Draco Sack gets negated, you can just like summon two tokens, make IP, and then at a minimum you have an interrupt. Um, and then in a best case scenario where you don't, uh, you can go Unicorn and Witch, make this, and then birth summon back the Unicorn, and then you have this, make IP, Unicorn, you make Apple for three before you ever use original. So you're just covered from every hand, from Apo in the middle, or from Ash in the middle, or Baylor on everything. Very nice. Yeah. And then the side deck, uh, Curry Kara, it just wanted like a nice little coverage card for like Cash Tira, because um, I don't think you actually need it, you play the Cash cards, it performs really well, like they, they perform really on the Shifter and the Flu, like that's like another thing is they like, cover all those matchups, uh, fantastic. Um, but like, I think your Cash could be an issue for this deck, um, so I just wanted this in there as like a coverage card for it. Um, and then Fist Chills, just like the only hand traps that I thought were worth playing, uh, you can put them in against the mirror. Branded, which is like one of the main concerns, like I still don't want to get a couple locks, so like these are the options for that. And then uh, just some back row heat. Um, again, just wanted the coverage for VV. I know the Runic Sun decks running around, like all of these cards just like blow them out if you ever get to. And then Call By and Strikes for going first. Um, I didn't really want a set card that you could set. I considered actually just playing the Bureau as like a one of hand trap. Um, but Strike performed really well. The one time I drew it against Raid after it won me the game. Uh, so, thank you, Blake. Perform very well overall. Alright. Alright, well, thank you so much, Aaron. Uh, any shout outs before we go? Uh, Epic Cards and Games, uh, the man behind the camera for some of the last minute cards, uh, Nathan Garcia, and then Epic Cards and Games as always. Alright, congratulations and uh, another PS5 down for you here. Thank you. Appreciate it.